I was seriously debating whether or not to vlog this because I am full of hay fever, my eyes are stinging, my nose is running, and I can't stop sneezing. But it's video content, so we'll get doing it anyway. So recently we actually had a trip up to Scotland, and during that trip up to Scotland, Mrs. up here and Madam down here decided to destroy one of the backpack carriers that my friend Fruity Flock very, very kindly let us borrow. Unfortunately, that is now in the bin because of the holes that they both put in it. So I needed so we needed something a bit more reliable, a bit more sturdy, and potentially a bit more open because Lime received to be slightly claustrophobic. Quaffle actually does really, really well in a backpack with stainless steel mesh. However, Lyra does not. As you may have seen in our Holiday to Scotland video, has completely chewed through the stainless steel mesh and actually done quite a bit of damage to it. So we need some form of carrier for her that's a little more beak safe, less prone to destruction. So we actually took an idea from our friends Fruity Flock, who actually carry their birds in a slightly bigger travel cage slash backpack that they've customized themselves. And we decided we were going to give this a go for Lyra. We actually tested the theory while we were up in Scotland and Lyra actually took to the cage really, really well. So we thought that might be a better option for her instead of a backpack carrier. So we went and bought one and now we're going to review it. And it just so happens it arrived today. First things first, we need to set it up. Plastic feed holders. I know where they're going. There you have it. One cage set up and ready to go. I'm not actually going to use the dowel perches that came with it, with the exception of the one on the top, which I'm going to wrap in either vet wrap or I might actually wind it up with some cotton like I've seen Fruity Flock do, because that seems to work quite well. However, these dial perches are gonna go probably for some kind of toy making in the future. I will not be using these the cage, because as we know, dial perches are poo. Hi, Quaffle appreciates it. It's already got Quaffle's approval, which is a good thing. I mean, do you like it? Do you like it? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to put some of our own perches in there and then see how the girls like it on the inside and to see if I can get them to share it without fighting. That might be a challenge.
see it's nice and spacious. It's more than big enough to fit two peas in. Although Quaffle might not be willing to share with Ira. I haven't yet to test that theory, but that is going to be a theory tested for another day. Nice. For now, we're just going to do some positive reinforcement with the new location, with the new cage. I think Quaffle already knows we're meant to be going out with it and she's very eager for a play. And do some training. She's just very curious as to what's going on. But all around, all good. I actually have some backpack straps on the way for this cage so that I can actually use it like a backpack. Again, with the main idea being that this cage is meant to be mainly for Lyra and see how she gets on. You coming out? Yeah? How did you find that? You want to go back in? Okay. No? You going for a nosy? You want to go down? There you go. Go climbing. Yeah, Quaffle's very intrigued. Now we've done some positive association. Good. We can actually work on taking it out and about, which is going to be another job for another day because we still need to wait for the backpacks to arrive before we do that. Don't we? Yeah. Come on then. That's it. Having to get Quaffle to work out how to do it on her own. That's going to be a fun part. Yeah, it's not us. Come on. That's it. Yeah, go on. You can do it. You're more than capable. Have a go. Make them out. <laughs> no, no more. Quaffle actually likes the cage. You know the cage means going out. You want to go play in trees, don't you? Go on then. Go see Lyra. Come on then. You just want, do you want this? You want to kill camera? Hi. Do you want to say hi? Say hi to everyone. Good, hello. Good girl. Right, Quaffle, I'm going to pop you away for five minutes just while I do some training with Lyra, okay? I actually just sat down to eat and I heard a bang. I turn around <laughs> and Quaffle is exploring the cage all on her own. <laughs> What's going on indeed? Do you like it? It's better than your last cage. Do you like this one? <laughs> I think she likes this travel cage. She's been in it, she's been out it, she's been exploring it of her own accord. Quaffle has no... <laughs> I, think I will work out how to get in here one way or another. Mm, let me think about this. Have worked out yet? Don't tell how to get down? No? Not sure? Of oh, course I'm enjoying it. Yeah, of course you're enjoying it. You're enjoying that. Lyra has gone into play with some. I can't get her to do it again. Go on. There you go. There's all the treats. Oh, Coffee's going down. Coffee's going down. She knows the trick. There we go. Good girl. Good girl, so brave. So brave. On the other hand, you never think of it. Okay, so I'm trying a different tactic while oh, Popple is hugging the base. And enjoying some foraging. So, day two is cardio day. 
So I'm getting my cardio in with the coach. Hello coaches. Going out on a walk with me. Of course, Cockle's next to my shoulder while I was burying away. 